Hey guys and gals, JD with Top Hand Tripods here. I'm going to show you today is our top knot quarter hanging kit. These come in either blaze or black. This is 550 reflective paracord. So you can really find it really easy at night in your headlamp. And we sell these in either a 10 foot or a 15 foot version. And they either come in a four pack or a six pack. So you can specify that when you order. Sometimes the 10 foot is a little bit short for a meat pole scenario, so we offer a 15 foot for the meat pole scenario. But really 10 foot is all you really need. And it gives you the option of 40, 60, or up to 90 feet of paracord with you, depending on how you buy it. So the main attraction here is this little guy right here, which is a, a, the, the X-Lock we call it. And But before I show that to you, this is how we, it's going to show up when you pull it out of the package and you got four or you got six of these things. So what you're going to want to do is just slide that off of there and find the end that has the simple loop built in it like this. And what you're going to want to do now is pull a tail, pull the line right through that loop, and you're going to build that loop around, say, the knee or the hock of a quarter or around the top of a meat bag. You see how I did that? Just pull the line right through that loop, wrap it around the leg or the meat bag, and you got it look hooked on there. So once you have that done, you're going to want to pull it up to the other end, and and you got the adjustable loop with the X lock on it. And so right now, I'm going to try to do is build a about an 18 inch loop. So I build this up, I pull that line through. You see what I did there? Grab the X lock, pull the line through to where you got about an 18 inch loop built pull about a couple inches of tail through and then what you're going to want to do is hold on to the line above the X-lock, grab the tail, cross it over the line and it can go either above or below the line, it doesn't matter, over the top or underneath but you just cross that over and pull it tight. You see how I did that? It crossed over the line, that, that tail crossed over the line like that inside the X-lock. So it creates an X inside that little ferrule right there. So that's what you want it to look like before you set that up and over the limb. So you set that loop and now it can't slide. Now you have a loop and actually a handle that when you slide that over the top of the limb, you can grab that handle and pull your quarter up and then you simply just take the loop and pull it around the bottom of the quarter and leave it set. There's no knots to tie, there's no knots to untie. When you come back the next day, or that afternoon or whenever you come back to your quarters you just simply slide the loop off the bottom of the quarter and pull it up over the top of the limb there's no knots to untie and now when you go to put this away the easiest way to put it away is to go ahead and just grab the X lock and pull on the tail and the line at the same time You see how I did that now we're back to where we started we can adjust that loop again and find uh, about two inches or four inches of tail hanging out and you can pull that tail through and make the loop a little bit smaller and use up some of that cord if you don't need it say you got a 15 foot cord with you but you don't need that much because you want to get your your meat up off the ground at the right height so you got to adjust this loop to the height of limb that you're going to be throwing it over so i like to start out with about an 18 inch loop on the 10 foot version for about an eight foot limb Again, look at here, you're going to cross over the, the, the tail over the line. So find the line that slides through like that, cross the tail over the top of it or underneath it, grab the tail with the top part of the line and pull on it. You see how I did that? So that's what it needs to look like. You need all four of these to be in those grooves and it needs to cross over itself inside that X-lock. Now you got that loop built again. Okay, now we're going to roll on to the next segment and we're going to go outside and we're going to go ahead and show you how to lift that quarter up and set it on an actual tree. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're in my backyard now and what we're going to have here is a crash course on hanging one of these quarters. This is about as close as we can get. As you can see, I got my crash test dummy here. And this is a mock elk quarter that I made. As it, it, it weighs 70 pounds, actually. It's it's cement and sand. So we're, we're really close to the real deal here. And what I'm going to do is show you how to, to do this whole process using the top knot hanger kit. As you can see, I have a little piece of rope here to, to make a handle. Naturally, these are going to have a handle 
this is a rear quarter and it's going to have a handle right here where the hawk is. So you got a kind of a natural handle on a rear quarter. The fronts are a little lighter that you can grab. So I made a handle here so I can handle this guy because he's heavy. So we're going to just slip this off of here and set it down. And I'll show you what we start with again. Coming from back in the shop, you see how I build that loop. I'm going to build this loop out to about 18 inches again. And we're going to set the top knot like we talked about inside just by pulling that tail over the top of the line and we've got our, our loop now built. So now we have it looped on to the leg and i show you how to do that real quick. See how we did that? Remember that? Pull the line through the loop, set it over the leg. And now sometimes you won't have this leg on here. You might knock it off at the knee and expose the bone and that's good too. But for right now, for demonstration, we're going to leave the leg on here. So we'll snug that up tight and we'll throw this loop up over the top of this limb. As you can see, this is about seven, seven foot six, maybe close to eight feet on a limb. So that's about the size of loop that you're going to want to make for uh, the 10 foot cord, okay? See how I did that right there? All you got to do is find a little spot for that, that rope to set in, and we're set there. Now we have a 70 pound quarter hanging from a mock tree with my crash test dummy here. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how easy it is to get down. I can lift on my handle or I can just grab the quarter. And before I do that though, if you want it to go higher than this, you might need a buddy with you but you can get your shoulder under it and get it up there to where it balances up against the tree here and you can readjust your loop like what I talked about inside about adjusting where your loop is on that line and but if you have a buddy here this stout buddy you can just lift that up and hold it while you adjust that loop and then you can build it up higher to get your quarter up higher with just the 10 foot cord okay so for now we're going to use this handle here again normally you'd grab it here and I might be able to but I don't want to drop it this thing's heavy. All you do is slip that off, drop it down, and you're free to go.